So, so remember when everyone on the internet was really into sea shanties? Like a TikTok guy did a thing and then suddenly there were a million think pieces and covers and the longest johns finally found an audience and Adam Neely made a video and everything. I remember it too, but probably less because of the cool and fun world of music that people were discovering, and more because of the moaning and whining that the inhabitants of that world were doing. At the time, I was still really active on Twitter, and a bunch of the people that I follow on Twitter are marine biologists, and a bunch of those marine biologists had opinions about this whole shanty talk thing, because a lot of them had actually been like out on the ocean and had experienced shanties in person. A lot of them were really positive and happy about it, but there was definitely like a non-zero amount of dissidents. There were a lot of people sort of trying to work out what on earth do I do now that the youth have come for my hobby. So there was discourse and gatekeeping and the both of those contributed to a really bad look for the community. I saw a tweet that unironically said, don't say you're into shanties if you've never sung them on the high seas with the crew of your fair vessel. And no, it was not bait. I know it sounds like it was bait, but you really had to be there. It was completely sincere. <laughs> and it's like, chill out. Have you seen the vessels they're making these days? They are not fair. <laughs> they are so ugly. Now, a lot of the people in question here ended up deleting their more unsavory tweets, which I really appreciate. Um, I think that's a cool, mature move to make, and we don't need to make a thing out of it. I'm not gonna name and shame anybody because I want to extend a certain amount of compassion and empathy. I find the underlying worry here to be extremely relatable. Nobody wants to be the eye-rolling hipster who liked a thing before thing was cool, but also, we like our things, and it can be a weird situation to suddenly be one of many who like thing. I personally live in fear of the day that TikTok discovers Wolfpack. Literally all it would take is one e-boy to make a video to Funky Duck and it would just be over for me. Frank Sinatra. So what's my point? Why am I talking about all of this? I think that gatekeeping and nerdy pedantry are an irrational response to an irrational fear. More people liking a thing doesn't make that thing worse, and if you scare people away from liking the thing, it will just make them dislike the thing, and also you. And that should never be your end goal, stupid. Idiot. Moron. Imbecile. Fool. Sea shanties haven't gone away since January 2021. Shanty talk is still out there doing its thing. The only difference to the scene is that there are more creators and perspectives and ideas that will slowly and surely chip away the longest Johns' market share. I just think the most important thing is to be kind to one another. Like, if and when this happens to you, don't gatekeep, and if you find yourself being gatekept from a new hobby or craze that's sweeping the nation, call them out on it and find somebody else to talk to. Which, I know, sounds like a really weak way to end this video, but hear me out. 